everybody for being here and thanks for having me here. I feel very um, if, um, humble amongst this venerable group of speakers. Um, I know Nalushi through some of the work we've been doing in a faith ecology network and she just emailed me and said, would you like to speak at a philosophy night? I had no idea it was going to be like this. <coughs> um, so I had to try and jot down a few of my thoughts and I'm going to keep referring to them, otherwise I'll wander all over the place. Um, so I was thinking about the question, what is the purpose of life? And I guess the question has an assumption that there is a purpose to life, um, as opposed to um, an approach that is a, maybe a mechanistic worldview or, a, as mentioned, a nihilist worldview. So I thought I would start with the fact that I am here. And I believe that I am here through God's gift of life for which I give thanks. I believe that I'm loved by <coughs> God and that as a human being, I have dignity. I believe I'm unique, unrepeatable, with my own gifts, my own talents, my own faults and my own failings. And I'm here in the sure and certain knowledge that God is the source of life. That knowledge is born of faith. And which I believe is a gift from God, a pure gift, given from love. I believe that God is love. And that God so loved <coughs> the world that God sent God's self into the world to bring about the reign of God. In scripture we read, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the world Word was with God, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. I believe that God has a mission a liberating plan for the cosmos, that is to draw the whole cosmos into the divine life. The Trinity, God, Jesus and God's Spirit, three divine persons in the one God are constantly creating healing, reconciling, transforming and uniting the world. I believe that the purpose of my life is to seek God and cooperate with God in bringing about God's reign. I believe that God reveals God's self in every age. I know about God through scripture. The gospel, the good news of Jesus, is continually being made new in every age, read in the signs of the times. I've recently um, been very much changed by reading and learning about uh, René Girard. A French uh, started out as a, 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 a literary critic, has gone into philosophy, anthropology, and his <coughs> understanding of human desire, his idea of, of being of human desire is that uh, what makes us different from other animals is that Desire is triangular, that we have the, the subject or the initiator of the desire, we have the um, recipient or the, the, the disciple of that who desire, 
and then the object of the desire. And we actually desire the desire of the other. And I found that very um, insightful into looking at the human condition. I am not on my own. I live in a society with other humans. And I come to know God through others and in communion with others. So therefore I believe that each every person is loved by God, is unique, unrepeatable, with their own gifts, talents, faults and failings. I believe that we all experience our life in different cultures and make meaning of our life through our different belief systems, through symbols, through na different narratives, through different rituals. Therefore, I'm in Australia in a particular culture. My Catholic Irish heritage is what I bring to who I am. In rural Australia, over five generations, and influenced by a much longer Aboriginal culture in Australia. Another thought about um, Girardian theory is that in society, through this mimetic desire where we imitate the desire of the other or mimic the desire of the other, we, um, though we all, we all have human needs, human rights, human responsibilities, it leads to rivalry. An example is uh, you have a child in a room with a, 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 a teddy bear. The child is perfectly satisfied until another child comes into the room sees the teddy bear and the child then realises that it wants the teddy bear because the other child desires. So we inevitably have conflict wherever we are. Conflict is part of the human condition. I believe that Jesus, God incarnate, overturned the social norms. Jesus shows us the way to God, the way to live with each other with this conflict through nonviolence. I am the way, the truth and the life. Through his life, his death, and his resurrection, we have the opportunity now to create societies where there's right relationship with God, with our neighbour, with the wider world, and with creation. Jesus <coughs> came to bring peace, and he showed how it is done through nonviolence. I've come that they may have life and have it to the full. He showed us through eating with sinners. He touched lepers. He picked grain on the Sabbath. He showed compassion to the sick, the lame. He brought in the outcasts. He gave time to prostitutes. He respected all. He wasn't afraid to challenge those turning the temple into a trading post or the rich young man to give up his wealth. But his life led to his death on the cross. He became the innocent victim, the one they all focused their hatred and anger on. He was scapegoated by the crowd and denied even by his apostles. But it was, was until after his death that his disciples understood what his death meant. Then they were empowered to take up their cross and follow him. 
I don't believe that Christians have yet fully understood what that means, what non-violence means. Jesus showed us, brought into the world, reconciliation, forgiveness. He was downwardly mobile. He showed that we had to submit to refuse to be violent, to refuse to take life in order to give life. He showed us what healing means. So the organising for pr pr principle for Christians is to gather around Jesus in the Eucharist as a community of believers and then we're called to be the body of Christ in the world. We have the Holy Spirit to give us the wisdom, the knowledge, the courage, the gifts of the Spirit to do that. This is the purpose of life, to go out and live it for others in the way that Jesus showed us. I am part of all life. I am the human part, connected to other species. We are all interconnected and we are all interdependent. I am dependent on the earth for life and I have a responsibility to treat it with respect. I think we've come to a point where we've realised how far we've forgotten that and that the earth is the prophetic voice reminding us of that. I'm here now. I see through the lens of time and through my journey in life as a mother, as a grandmother, as a daughter of my elderly mother who is nearing the end of her life and my experiences teach me how to see the purpose of life. So then I would just like to sum it up by saying that Our mission is to go out as Jesus' followers to try and bring about God's reign. Thank you.